We have those mornings where the fog descends and sits silent like the cat at the window. The dense fog inspired our next poet, Ella Gerdes. The Dense Fog by Ella Gerdes. The fog descended, dense, thick, enveloping us, covering senses, nose, ears, and eyes. Hindered by the fog, we stumbled, distraught. How could we hear, see, or smell? The fog obscured everything, our movements, thoughts, and actions. We were handicapped, hindered. We called out in distress, no answer, no one to help. We were subjects of the fog. There was no way out. We accepted it, closed eyes and breathed. We sat there for hours until the sun rose high in the sky. The fog was gone. Now we could see. Here in Sarasota, we are blessed to have the Embracing Our Differences exhibition every spring along the bay. One of our poets, Ava Plank, was inspired by a panel entitled Duet to write this poem. Duet by Ava Plank. A symphony in two voices, contrast at each note, your extravagant blue shell, a compliment to my glimmering finish. Shredding on metal, I hum your melody, caused by a long, elegant bow sliding across my neck. You sing with skilled fingers that pluck your bass, the song you make so noticeable, although filling the gaps between each note is my pleasure, as a concert can't be a one-man show. You make the world riot, using amplifiers and speakers as I calm the ocean, a feeble microphone as my only magnifier. Not only do we go to the woods in the spring when everything is fresh and new, we like to visit in the autumn when the woods are getting ready to say goodbye and to settle down for a few months of rest. It was on such a visit that Jordan Phoebish, our next poet, was inspired. November Morning by Jordan Phoebish I embark on a morning stroll through the barrier of the forest realm. I pass under the canopy of oak, buzzing cicadas lure me. Their sound drones out the incessant noises of the city. The path splits. I am on the snake fence. Which way should I go? A mysterious mist rises to the left path. The rippling of the pond is heard in the distance. A family of cypress knees beckons down the right. They become miniature structures for a village. Harmonious melodies greet me as I travel to the left. They continue to sing as they come to the dead end, where a glistening pond is waiting for me on this relaxing November morning.